gentlemen, you have asked for it, and despite my numerous misgivings about this entire endeavor, I'm going to embark on this. It's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, YouTuber, and caffeine addict. And today, I'm doing what you, the viewers, specifically requested. You could have, you could have had me review any video, anyone on the entire YouTube, billions of hours of content, and instead, instead, you wanted cursed gun images. Well, okay. I've gone into the Discord. Thank you to the Discord members for posting these. I didn't tell them ahead of time, by the way. There is an entire subreddit dedicated to cursed images, of which numerous are firearms related. And I have taken from that a random sampling of cursed gun images, unbeknownst to the posters. So now I will subject myself to those for your amusement. Let's start with number one. This isn't a gun. The first one isn't even a gun. This is where we're at. It has gun-like parts. It has a, a deployable bipod hand grip, which is identical, actually, to the one that my unit bought me when I deployed, and I had it for a while and then promptly took it off because an M4 doesn't need a bipod. It's an M4. You can rest it on a rock or something. It, why a stick would need a bipod, it, uh, this stick actually has more use for a bipod. Because if you give it to a kid, they can pretend it's a machine gun. I can't pretend my M4 is a machine gun, right? It has a plastic magazine, which I guess is fine. I, I always had problems seating these stupid plastic magazines, obviously because they were meant for sticks. Uh, it has a, looks like an M68, close combat optic. I have no judgment other than the fact that it's mounted to a stick. Uh, I and mean, it has a front sight post alone. I, does it have the iron sight or the night sight? I feel like it should. I feel like the night sight is, well, a, a good iron sight close combat optic equivalent. But that's okay. It is highly tactical. A stick is quiet. When you hit someone with it, they just go, ow, why'd you hit me with that stick? You know? The, my only complaint... Is that a good tactical self-defense stick needs to have some heft, needs to have some weight, and that looks like compressed, like particle board. So it looks like I would hit it, and the stick would dent more than my opponent. So I gotta say, tactical self-defense stick, uh, I'm I'm giving it like a, a three out of ten. Uh, sticks, great self-defense tool. That particular stick, not so great. Okay, okay, let's move along. Okay, so this is uh, this is what's known as an affront to God. I appreciate the fact that, um, like, like every good affront to God, it purports to be art. As you can see, it has a cylindrical drum magazine feeding, it, it, allegedly, into a drum cylinder for the revolver. Yeah. Yeah, this is the answer to Dirty Harry's question. Did I fire five shots or six? The answer is, it didn't matter. Did I fire 50, 59 shots or 60? Do I feel lucky? Statistically, uh, if you're carrying that, you are not lucky. You are, in fact, cursed. Uh, also, just got to say, I mean, I, I can view this without having my blood pressure r r rise because I know that it can't exist. It can't really hurt me. Right. It, it, it's sort of like the Uncanny Valley, right, where there's there's like. Like Barney, the dinosaur, despite not being human and not really being a thing that can exist, while weird is not a, an, an aspect of fear because it's too, it can't be real. Right. In contrast, the clown from it pretty creepy, right, because it looks pretty close to real but not quite this is the barney the dinosaur of cursed gun images it can't be real and so therefore it can't hurt me allegedly so man i hope i hope this is an optical illusion i hope they haven't actually like bored out the bottom of the handle of that it is what is it a cult python maybe it, it looks nice or a smith and wesson it's too grainy for me to tell but you know i I just hope they haven't damaged what's a decent looking uh, uh, double single action revolver. Looks like the 70s cop. Uh, I'm gonna get you. 
Okay, so this is not, uh, full disclosure, this was not a cursed gun image. Well, okay. This is a cursed gun image. Tremendously cursed, in fact. But the user that posted it was completely and 100% serious. But I'm sorry, it is because you, like, be, like, like, corruption from the warp, it feels like it's not bad. But your embrace of it is bad. The, the, the chaos gods of firearms have seen this, this uh, abomination of a Thompson and have placed in your small fleshy mind that this is actually good, that this is desirable. No, no, nothing about this is desirable. This is, this is the Nurgleite, this is the Nurgleite version of a gun, right? This is, this is the chaos god of plague in gun form. He has taken something pure, a sacred piece of Firearms Americana, the Thompson, the gun of Al Capone, Bonnie and Clyde, of, of our, our boys fighting the Germans, and has bubbled it up. Look at that rail. The rail extends through the handguard. Why? The Thompson wasn't meant to have a handguard like that. And what, it, the, 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 the magazine well and the selector switch, what, what is this? Why? Why would you include this? And the, oh my god, the front sight post on the rails. No, no, this, none of that is necessary. But what kills me, what kills me is that someone elected to make a tactical version of the Thompson against all common sense. And then was like, but you know what? We need to remind people, remind people of what this used to be. Just, just like a good Chaos Space Marine. Still rocking their power armor, just covered in spikes. Just to remind you that they used to be on your side. That they included what looks like it could be the original Thompson furniture in the hand grip and in the buttstock. I don't even think, they, did the original Thompson have a pistol grip? I think it did. This is, this is just, I mean, the Inquisition will actually purge my laptop or my PC if they find this image on it. I don't even know how I'm going to explain the rest of the Discord, but just this, this shouldn't be. Like, there's only 400 million other, like, submachine gun or submachine gun equivalent. Uh, 45 ACP weapons they're cool they're black they're tactical you you can look like hunk from resident evil with any one of them why'd you have to do this why do you why do you hate me why do you hate america do i want to move on no but i will i lied i lied i said that there was a lot of cool submachine guns and other calibers that you could use i lied this is not one of them. There is not. It is not this. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything is wrong with this. Now, one, I feel better because this is a gun that can't shoot. It can't really exist. It's obviously uh, looks like an airsoft gun, right? Based on the fact that it has this this uh, wires running up from the trigger. So what it appears to be is that someone has taken two airsoft guns, a three, really. It's taken, it's taken an MP5 and a P90 and mashed them together and then rigged it up so that the trigger pull from the MP5 also pulls the trigger. I think I can even see a second trigger here. Uh, also pulls the trigger for the P90, creating a second stream of bullets, though the P90's stream appears like it's going to hit the front sight post of the MP5. But I cannot confirm this. And then, for some reason, they took the banana magazine of an AK and just shoved an MP5 case into it to further confuse you, the viewer. I just... That's it. Yeah, this the, one, thankfully, this gun can't be real, and so it can't hurt me. Um, physically. Emotionally, perhaps. And I guess it could sting slightly if I were to be hit by the MP5's BBs. 
um, but probably the P90 I'm probably safe from, uh, which is really the most cursed part of this. Otherwise, it's just a silly magazine inserted into another magazine, right? But, uh, but why? Just why? Though that, that looks like a real, like, like communist block AK magazine, right? It looks like real pressed aluminum. It's, uh, it shouldn't, yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to something that's now a historical artifact? I don't know. I don't know, friends. I don't know. But I just, I, I can sleep at night knowing, telling myself what I hope is true. That this is just an airsoft gun and as we know many airsofters not all but a lot are military cringe lords let's move on okay okay god is dead and we killed him god is dead and we killed him with this gun in fact um yeah this is this is this is the number one argument honestly against a loving god um, so it's got the old school M16A1, as you can see, it's got the triangle style hand grip, which fun fact, when I, in 2008, went to, uh, they called it LDAC back then. It was the, uh, basically cadet assessment course where they assessed you on a bunch of tactical and technical skills and depending on how well you did it contributed to your national ranking and people who were better on the national ranking got their pick of branches and first duty assignments so you know it, it was a good thing um it was good to do well but the weapon they issued was an m16 a1 with triangle hand guards and the blank fire adapter obviously and the blank fire adapter well, for the exercises. I think we may have actually qualified with the M16A1s, which it's a miracle they didn't all jam right away. It's a miracle they still functioned, and frankly, all of them I thought should have been in a museum, right? They were pieces of history, you know? Because remember, the M16A1, I think by the time the Vietnam War ended, they were already on to the A2, the circular handguards, I think. I think. Commenters, let me know if I'm getting that wrong. All that to say... That if you have an A1, man, you should preserve it. But look, we put a, a hunting stock on it. Maybe, maybe this is some sort of comical attempt to become compliant with some iteration of California law, right? Some it, 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 At some point in its iteration, they were just like, oh, you can't have a pistol grip on the end. You gotta have a, a hunting style stock. Because this would make sense, right? Because this is like a stubby, probably a 10 round magazine. Yeah, you know what? I bet that's what this is. I bet this is somebody's effort because it doesn't look photoshopped, right? And, and you know, these these lines of this desk are all straight. I think what you're looking at is someone who has the pistol grip and the authorized stock somewhere else. And in case the California authorities insist on viewing his, uh, you know, M M16A1 civilianized variant, he can show them one that complies with their law, right? And perhaps, perhaps when the law changes, he has the stock, he or she, I don't, I don't you know, every, any, any, any finger can pull the trigger. Uh, they may go and install the proper stock and pistol grip at a later date. That's what I'm going to tell myself, again, so that I can function day to day in the world where this exists. Well, at least we know where the spare parts went. They went to an Uzi. Yeah, I have... This is also terrible, frankly. I'm actually a little impressed, right? Again, I really hope this is just an airsoft gun because it would actually be an impressive display of engineering to be able to take a functioning... Um, I'm pretty sure this is an Uzi. It may be... No, I think it's an Uzi. It's not a Tech 9 it would be pretty impressive to take an Uzi and install a lengthened barrel on it, right? Mount Picatinny rails, then mount two said Picatinny rails, an M4 style sight, and, and have a front sight to go along with it, to go along with your carry handle sight. That means that you would, of course, have to zero this sight 
for a 9mm pistol round, which is pretty impressive, frankly. Because right? so you have to remember, the only reason the M16 sights, which sit pretty high above the weapon, the only reason that makes sense is because right, it's a rifle round, and so you can have the sights this far apart because at the distances you're engaging, that bullet will rise, line up with the sights, pass, line up with the sights again, and then continue. Now this would be a pro this is easy for a rifle round, right? You can have a lot of delta between the barrel, the end of the barrel and the line of sight when the bullet discharges. But for a nine millimeter round, you're talking about a much tighter variant because that round just doesn't have a lot of a lot of room to go, right? And it's not meant to travel in much of an arc. It should arc a little bit, you know, 50 meters. So yeah, this is actually, if you if this actually had sights that were lined up uh, in any way, it would sort of impress me in a, in, in a way that, like, in a way that, like, um, genetically engineering some sort of horrible human, human dolphin hybrid would, would horrify and impress me, right? Um, obviously, this extended mag, I don't know what's going on. I don't even want to think about what's going on. Likewise, uh, this shouldn't be. Um, just don't understand, right? Like, yes, there are top of the line shooters rifles, combat weapons. They're good at what they do. They're the ones that are top of the line that you should gee whiz to death. But everything else, treat it like for what it is, a piece of, of, of history, a collector's item. But that's okay. This is all okay. And I'm okay, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really okay. Mmm. I think I've seen this monster before. I think this is from the Mosin subreddit. I think this person did this to just be a troll. And what a troll it is. What a troll it is. Let's break down the troll. First off, you have a door hinge. A door hinge allowing you to fold and deploy the stock. In keeping with the door theme, you have two door jams, or sorry, door door hitter blockers, door you know, the things you used to play with as a kid. Uh, you got them as your bipod, which is um, the most non-functional shit I've ever heard. Right? The door hinge, I could almost, if I squint hard and don't think a lot, I can see how the door hinge could be functional. Sort of like do-it-yourself do folding stock. If you could somehow get the hinge to lock together firmly and somehow not have it totally screw up your uh, hold of the weapon, then maybe. But otherwise, no. Uh, you've got, it, it, but this, this, this bipod, no, no, it's so unstable. It's like, it's making the gun more unstable than just putting it on a rock or something, right? But what I think actually causes me physical pain is actually this right here. You can see it's missing the lower uh, half of the forward handguard. My problem with this is innumerable. Um... Oh god, there's even more. I can't tell if it appears in, in the top photo, the integrated magazine is intact. In this photo, it's not. Probably just some sort of weapon safety thing is what I'm telling myself. But yeah, you can see the garbage rod is inserted. The whole thing is a garbage rod, I know. But I'm talking about the garbage rod, the rod component of the garbage rod. The rod component of the garbage rod is still inserted up here. It's just lacking anything stabilizing it. And the ring holding it in place is just wobbling around, which is going to wobble extra hard. It's going to make a nice clangy noise because of these springy bipods. Um, yeah, everything about this is horrible, and uh, I am more soft for having seen it. Though there's an artful subtlety to the fact that adjacent to this, it actually is rounds of 12 gauge. Just reminding you a final message that despite the fact that the Mosin fires a very specific type of ammo that basically only a tiny, tiny number of uh, non-Mosin guns in the US fire, 7.62 by 54 rimmed, um, this person is still sticking not only the wrong type of ammunition, but a type of ammunition that is wrong for this entire class of firearm. 
So, as a Mosin owner, my soul it, it weeps for this, actually. Let's see what's next. Oh, this is our last one. This is our last one. And, ooh, is it a doozy? Okay, so the Mach, as you can see, the Mach, and neither of these guns could possibly fire. There's just no scenario where they would actually fire. As you can see, the Mach's hammer is like a Mach hammer. It is suspended over nothing, because, as we know, the Glock is hammerless. Now, the, the Mach, I... I I guess is like lo loosely functional in the broadest sense of the word. Like it could conceivably be a gun. If someone was to pull a mock on you, you would be like, wow, I'm having a gun pointed at me, right? It has a barrel. It has a receiver, it has a magazine. Well, it has a trigger. It has the parts it even sort of has a sight. Uh, Right, I could conceivably see rounds in here, though Though there's no chance this is a semi-automatic because obviously the slides need to work together in some way, and given that this, the lower receiver, I, I guess this is the term we're going to use for this, the lower receiver and the upper receiver are disconnected by a big chunk of space, right? So there's no way this will fire more than one shot at you. But, you know, in a dark alley or something, you'd conceivably be like, wow, this, this thing may actually hurt me. Um, in contrast, the Glauser. The Glauser it cannot hurt you. It cannot hurt you because it cannot be real, right? As we know, where does the Glock, the Glock's chamber lie? It lies right around these ridges this ridged part of the weapon right maybe a little bit forward of it now where do the bullets lie on the mauser broom handle they lie all the way here in what looks sort of like the magazine well um, one the magazine well cannot be accessed because literally the ejection port of the glock is forward of everything else right so yeah. there's just there's just no possible way that this could ever work right the, the the place where the bullets need to be to be discharged and the places where the bullets sit are like this. They're too, they're, they're, they, they can look at each other, right? It's like, it's like Mario and Princess Peach over the lava, right? There's, they're not, they're, the bullet would have to ju double jump, yeah, boop, boop. right? It's not going to happen. Not for the Glauser, right? And it just, I mean, just look at it. Does this, this doesn't even look like something that could hurt you. Again, there's no hammer to speak of, so I, I don't know what would even hit the, the round, right? It just, just no, just no on every, every single level. Uh, it's a Glock 21 though, in 45. It's not, the calibers aren't even right. The Mauser broom handle is a nine millimeter. And it's just, it, it it's just, it, it was impractical on the day it was, inked the day it was manufactured it was an impractical weapon there were already in wide use better weapons than the mauser broom handle and yet and yet it exists as a monument to man's short-sightedness right truly nothing is quite as special as country's weird jingoistic nationalism making them refuse refuse to adopt better weapons even when those better weapons are used against their own fighting forces right they as we see here with this mauser broom handle right the luger concurrently designed the 1911 I think concurrently designed it, lots and lots of magazine fed pistols were out there they were excellent they worked a-okay and they didn't involve loading rounds with a tiny little baby strip equip right that you just with where all the tolerances were so tight that just a little bit of dirt would just ruin it right but someone's nationalist fervor told them that they had to have their own pistol and how dare they use their sworn enemies you know signature concepts like a magazine you know and a loading it with from the bottom right these sort of things just not a flow so that's what you had that's what you ended up with a mauser broom handle 
though, you know, they did have that cool little, like, stock coming off of the bottom. You could just, like, attach it and be like, pew, 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 turn in the world's... Well, it's not really a submachine gun, because it was semi-automatic. There's a lot wrong with it. There's a lot wrong with it. It's a monument to hubris, um, as is the mock and the glauser, in fact. Well, gentlemen, I think that about does it for this. I have, I have spent my Friday afternoon viewing eight, eight cursed gun images, each one more cursed than the last, right? I have mocked the Chaos God of Firearms uh, and summoned and, and given tribute to a definitely, definitely Nurgle, definitely Nurgle, the God of Decay, as all beautifully designed firearms are crumbling before my eyes. Um, Korn, Korn also mocks and, and weeps at this, right, as the Chaos God of, of you know, anger and rage and violence. None of these guns could perpetrate that. Maybe the tactical stick. Maybe. Um, Slanesh. Unclear what Slanesh's relationship to any of this would be. Unclear. May enjoy it because it represents like the mock or the glauser or the tactical browning. Anything that's just two guns that should never have been together just being like, mmm, yeah, mmm, love it, yeah. Yeah, so I could see that. Um, Zeech, yeah, maybe this is also Zeech, just horrible, twisting, conniving combinations that barely make any sense. But, but Zeech always has a plan. There's always a scheme. None of these none of these involved any plan, except maybe, maybe the uh, uh, hunting rifle style M16A1. That may reflect a plan. But everything else is just, is just pure... On just chaos undivided. And Nurgleite entropy, the destruction of all things, down to their lowest energy state. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tormenting yourselves with me. If you have cursed gun images, one, get them on Instagram and tag your boy. I got the link in the description. Two, get on the Discord, post them in the cursed images subreddit. Sub subgroup sub thing do it um other than that uh thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next one